Hello and welcome to lesson number 27. Today I'm going to teach you the revolve command. Okay, now the revolve command is basically exactly what it sounds like. You're going to take one curve and you are going to revolve it around an axis, generally another curve, in order to create a three-dimensional object, okay, or some three-dimensional geometry. So, as you can see, we've got the help menu open so you can follow along if you are confused. All right, now, the revolve command can be found up here under surface revolve. The other place to find it is down here under your surface menu, bottom line, right there, midway through. Okay, and of course, you can just go ahead and type in, I'm going to go ahead and hit escape, and you can just type in revolve, enter, and then you're in that command. All right, I'm going to hit escape. Let's go ahead and double click on this top window here. And what I'm going to do is actually I will show you what we have, right? We've got, and you can see in the perspective as well as in the front view, what I did was I drew a curve as well as a cross section of what's going to be a bottle, both of them on the construction plane on the X axis. All right, and, and it's very important that these are coplanar, that all of these curves are flat and straight and in line with each other. It will work if it's not, but it probably won't give you the result you want, which basically means it won't work. All right, so you're going to need two things before you start this command. Number one, you're going to need an axis around which you are going to revolve your profile curve, right? And then that profile or that cross-section curve is something that looks like a cut through whatever your object is. In this case, a bottle, okay? So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to double click into my perspective so that you can see it a little bit larger, all right? And now I'm going to run the revolve command, which again can be found under surface revolve or down here under the surface menu, fourth line down, third one over, revolve, okay? So the command line says select the curve to revolve. In this case, it's the profile curve, okay? And hit enter when done, so I'll do that. Start of the revolve axis, and you can use the top or the bottom, click, and then end of the revolve axis. I don't have to go all the way to the top. It's always a good idea, because I'm snapping there, but I can start right here, click, and now what I'm doing is you can see I'm dragging my cursor in a circle. Okay. Now I could just drag and click, right? And then that'll start it and I could click again. I'm going to switch from wireframe up here to ghosted and you'll see what happened. And this is probably what's going to happen to a lot of you guys as you're first starting out, right? You're only going to get halfway. You're going to be like, what went wrong? You didn't click to the end. You didn't snap to the end. I'm going to go ahead and select that and delete it. You also have another option. All right. Now you notice that that turned red, even though my profile curve was blue. The reason for that is we're on a red layer. So let's go ahead, double click, make the blue layer active. Now the next one's going to be blue. Okay. So we'll do this again. We'll go to surface, revolve, select the curves to revolve here. Hit enter when done, enter start at the revolve axis this time i can go to the top it doesn't matter where your start and where your finish is you just have to be vertical all right and then end of revolve axis i'll just go all the way to the bottom click and now i can start to drag it but you'll notice right up here you can uh, type in and be specific about the angle upon which you'd like to revolve or i can just click this right here full circle click and I've got myself a perfectly revolved bottle. Pretty darn fast, pretty darn smooth. Okay, I'm going to stop the lesson right there, and I'll see you in the next lesson. Thanks.